Welcome. In this video, I will show first how to store the array values in the localhost database and then retrieve it back through PHP script. So let's create the PHP file and declare variable x as an array with some values. Now in the local host, we will create one database and one table. This code I have given in the video description to create one database inside one table also and two columns, one ID and one as a test column with one uh, with value as XYZ. This we will uh, update with the array values. Now we will create the connection for our database. We will give condition for the connection. If not connected, then give some error message. So you see, database connection is okay. Now we will write the SQL statement to update the value of array in the table So if query runs successful, then we know that database is updated, else error. So let's refresh the page. So some uh, database connected, database updated also, but one message comes, array to string conversion, some error is there, 17 page, 17 line. So you see. Uh, this XYZ is updated with only array, but values are missing. Array values are missing. So it means this array is not getting updated or entered into the localhost. So for this, we will serialize this array first. serialize array you see in the serialized form of array lot of uh, inverted commas colons semicolons are there these are the problem while retrieving from the local host or database it creates problem so still we will first try to update in the local host So you see, database has been updated. And you 
you see here in the column, test column, this uh, serialized form of an array has come. But since I told you this uh, commas and inverted commas create problem, so we will again convert to other form. Now this serialized array, I am converting to base 64 encoder. Some encoding is there. Now you will see what is this also. So you see in base 64 encode, this is only alphabets and some numericals are there. So which is safer form? So let's update the database. So database updated. And refresh this. And you see here this only some alphabets and numbers has come. So this is safer way. Now we will retrieve this uh, information again to the page. Undefined function my s oh mistake is there. Okay, so from the database we are getting that values. This is base base 64 encoded value. So we will decode it and then unserialize to get the array. So first base 64 decode and then unserialize. This will make this return the array. So now print R. We are getting the our array as in original form. So this information can be used and I think this is the safest way of storing array values in the local host and then retrieve it back because in serialized form it may create sometimes errors.